Hey, welcome to the second episode on Blitzkrieg. In this episode, I'm going to show you what Blitzkrieg looks like. So represented here in my little uh, terrain table, you'll notice we have the enemy's defenses represented by these pine needles. The attacking force is going to move along an undetermined uh, route, encounter the enemy's defenses, search for a weak point, and then move through to destroy the enemy's critical vulnerability. All right, let's see how it goes. The attack begins. So you'll see here, the attacking force is uh, best described as water moving forward around weak points, or strong points. It encounters the enemy's defenses, and you see that just like hitting a dam, it starts searching, searching for where the dam is weakest. As this continues, it keeps looking for that one weak point, and once it does, you can see it found it. And now it turns and sends everything that can, everything it has, to that one weak spot, and the entire defense will begin to give way. There it goes. They call that eruption. And now the attacking force moves past and destroys the enemy's headquarters. So what you just saw basically is Blitzkrieg. It's this idea that you move forward, your reconnaissance in front, leading your entire force, not along a predetermined route, finding that one place where the enemy is weakest and then sending everything you have at that one point to erupt through the enemy's defenses and then surge forward and destroy uh, the, your enemy's critical vulnerability, which is usually their headquarters, artillery, and their logistics. All right, and that is Blitzkrieg. Thanks for watching. Hunt, race, kill.